What is going on guys? This is Daniel, and today I'll be taking a look at the Lakers offense in Summer League. They run a bit of Princeton, a bit of Triangle, and other common NBA sets, and I'll be showing you some things that they do well and that I like, but also how they need to improve their execution, which is expected because it's Summer League, but at the same time, last year, in the regular season, their execution wasn't great. So, let's get to it. Let's begin with the Chin series out of the Princeton and they'll swing the ball around and Russell will receive a shuffle screen toward the basket and you can see right here if the pass is made, Russell has a layup, but Nance delays the pass and Russell is forced into a bad shot. Here Russell isn't open off the shuffle screen so the other guard on top, Jabari Brown, will receive a flare screen looking for an open shot. When that isn't open, the ball goes to the center on top and they'll execute a dribble pitch action. Here Brown gets it, makes a pass to Black who finishes inside. I like this dribble pitch action as the guard who receives the handoff will receive two screens in a row and get going toward the basket and here Russell nails an open mid-range jumper. So like I showed you, traditionally there will be a flare screen before the dribble pitch action, but oftentimes the Lakers will cut this corner and have the guard simply go to the basket and the center receive it on top without the flare screen occurring. This is still fine as they get into a nice dribble pitch action, but Black makes very little contact on his screen and Clarkson is forced into a tough shot. So same chin series, and notice when Russell receives the handoff, Okafor will hedge this screen and roll. So Nance must flash to the high post to receive the pass, and then possibly hit Upshaw rolling to the basket as they'll have a numbers advantage. But Nance doesn't do that, and then Russell is forced to isolate and he misses at the basket. Watch how Julius Randle completely screws up this whole play. He misses two consecutive screens, and when he receives it on top, instead of executing the dribble handoff, he decides to isolate, stalling the offense, and they get a bad shot. That being said, the center attacking on top can be effective because there is no rim protection because the floor is so spread, and here Black drives and draws a foul. Here's a great variation out of the chin and watch Jabari Brown, he's coming off the shuffle screen and usually he'd just wait to go and then receive a dribble handoff, but instead watch how he'll come use the center as a down screen immediately and get an open 3. This can be very difficult to guard and here Russell uses this option to get an open 3 himself. But watch how Black is not on the same page as everyone else as he does not set the down screen for Russell and then takes Russell's pass, the offense stalls, and the best they can get out of this possession is a long two. This option works spacing wise because Russell after making this pass will go to the corner allowing for the down screen to take place, but here no one is on the same page, Randall has to hold the ball and Clarkson takes a tough shot. The Chin series is also a great way to get a high screen and roll. Typically, Russell would swing it to Nance, but instead he calls for Upshaw to set a screen and roll for him, and then Russell finds Upshaw for the foul. Again, they run this option, and here Russell can find a shooter off the pick and roll. This is a great opportunity for Russell to use the screen and roll, really make a play, survey the court, and here he finds a backdoor cutter for the layup. This time it's Clarkson and he doesn't even use the screen as he can penetrate to the basket and draw a foul. Clarkson is terrific at attacking the basket and this set gives him the necessary spacing for him to do so effectively. And here it's Jabari Brown who can attack the basket out of this option. The Lakers also did run a bit of triangle in Summer League, though not a lot. Here's the first option where the ball goes to the center down low, the cutters cut through, and Black can drive and score here. Here's the fourth option where the ball goes to the corner and they'll execute a screen and roll, and Russell makes a nice pocket pass to Black here for the bucket. Again they run this option, and here they get a decent look at three. The Lakers ran quite a bit of the offensive set horns, which is pictured here. They ran the double high ball screen, and here Russell misses a mid-range jumper. This time Clarkson can use this play to attack the basket and finish with a monster jam. The defense goes under the ball screen here, so Russell gets an open look at three. 
You really need a stretch 4 for this play though, as here when Randall pops, they can simply help off of him and he's not a threat from the perimeter, and then he drives and throws up an air ball. But here when Dallas foolishly hedges the screen and roll, Randall can catch it on top, and Black seals his man off inside so there's no rim protection, and Randall can drive and get a layup though he misses. If a team is dumb enough to hedge a screen and roll when Randall is setting it, they deserve to be scored on with this play. Out of this play, when Nance receives it on top and doesn't shoot or attack, he then executes a dribble handoff with Brown in the corner, and Brown gets a decent look. Here's a play out of Horns where the ball will first be passed to the elbow, and then Russell and the opposite big will set a double staggered screen for the man in the corner, and here Clarkson gets an open three. Black here can pass it to the man coming off the double screen or simply execute a dribble pitch which occurs here, and then Black gets it back for the layup. This play can allow Clarkson, a great penetrator, to essentially receive three consecutive screens for him to get going toward the basket. This is my favorite thing I saw the Lakers do all summer league. So right here it looks like it's going to be the double staggered screen out of horns. But instead they mix it up and have the point guard set a screen for Nance. He'll reject it back door cutting. Then the point guard will receive a dribble handoff back on top. This completely confuses the defense and they hit an open three. That was beautiful. This is not as Nance has no idea what's going on. He completely messes up the play and they eventually get a bad shot. The Lakers also ran some flex sets out of horns, and here it's beautifully executed as the cross screen works, but the layup is blown. Again, great play, great screen by Russell, but Randall makes the pass way too late, and Clarkson is forced into a tough shot. This time, the cross screen isn't open, but they use the screen to screener action to get Russell an open jumper. Another way the Lakers got into screen the screener action was through Motion Week, a very common NBA set. They'll swing the ball around and there's the screen the screener action and it gets Jabari Brown and Open J. Motion Week again, but instead of waiting for the screen the screener action to take place, Brown grows impatient and takes a contested jumper. They'll run Motion Week all the way through. And then when things stall, they'll go into the double high ball screen out of horns, nice pass by Russell, and they get an open jumper. This is another very common NBA set, Floppy, where two shooters will receive simultaneous pin downs at the baseline, and here Brown hits an open three. Nice job here by Brown to curl the screen toward the basket, receive it, and draw a foul. No shot is open immediately out of floppy, so then they flow into screen and roll. Nice passing here as Black ends up with a dunk. This time, instead of running the screen and roll, they'll hit up shot posting up, and he makes a nice move and hits a jumper. So normally, Russell would simply pass it to Brown coming off the down screen, but here he executes a dribble pitch with him, Black comes over for the inside ball screen, and this is a nice action, though here the offense stalls a bit as the screen and roll isn't effective. This is relatively nice, as out of floppy, they'll then go to the triangle as Clarkson sprints to the corner, though here they don't actually run the triangle, as they simply run a ball screen, and they get a long two. And this is floppy into the horns double high ball screen, and Russell can attack and draw a foul. In semi transition here, they'll set a double drag screen for Clarkson, and he can drive and score. And just a fantastic job by Clarkson off the double drag screen here, probing and then finding black for the dunk. Though here when Russell runs it, he has some trouble in traffic and turns it over. The Lakers also ran a few late game plays and here they run the elevator with misdirection as Jabari Brown can sprint through two screens for the open three. And here's a play where they'll inbound it to Randall and then there will be a flare screen and then a back screen for the inbounder simultaneously and here Randall uses this space and movement to drive and draw a foul. Well, thanks for watching and see you next time.